Hey, Craig Daniels here, Craig's Classroom. Today's blog post was about embedding videos in an active rain post. And this is the 2019 version. Uh, some of the things have changed in active rain and where the blogging platform sometimes isn't performing as it, we would expect. And today's post is going to be a little bit of a how-to to get around it. It's not a difficult thing, but it might be easier if you see me do some of these things rather than just write about them. So I wanted to also include a tutorial video. So are you ready? Let's get started in looking at how to embed videos. So in today's post, uh, as you saw, if you read through the post, the insert video button isn't quite performing as it used to. Um, and one of the changes that occurred uh, is in regards to Active Rain still using YouTube videos with an HTTP setting as opposed to an HTTPS setting, that secure connection. And of course, YouTube these days is all in HTTPS, but the, the Active Rain editor is still not uh, reflecting that. So we have a bit of a problem. When you insert a a video now into your post um, with with just the default settings it's not going to show and so this is a bit of, of a confusing issue so what I want to do is show you how to in, insert use still use that tool on the toolbar and yet um, be able to make a small change that's going to allow that video to show up and then also I'm going to show you about um, picking some good dimensional sizes for these videos because the default size is not ideal either because it has a little bit of an issue so let's go ahead and work through these uh, points I just wanted to show you how this is going to work so um, the first video that I wanted to insert or embed into a, a blog post is Dick Greenberg uh, he did his onion soup video so let's go ahead and see how this would work as, as far as embedding it into a blog post so the first thing that you want to do youtube.com watch and then you have a, a code for that video so you can grab that and copy that to the clipboard that's one way to do it or you can come down to right underneath the video is a share link and you can click that share link and you can see this code right here is what you would go ahead and copy and that would put that on the clipboard so either way either from the top or from that um, by the way, if you do the share link and you do the copy, you'll notice that that's a, what they call a short link. And so that's a little bit uh, nicer, especially if not necessarily embedding it in a, in a, in a, in a blog post. But let's say you're going to email somebody uh, a link. Sometimes the short code is a little bit nicer one to look at. Or if you're going to insert that into a, a tweet in Twitter, um, the short one is a good one to use. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab that to my clipboard there and close that. And I'm going to jump back to a draft blog post here. This is just a, a make-believe blog post. And let's say I wanted to insert a video into this post here. So I'm going to insert my, my cursor there. I'm going to hit an, an enter. I'm going to click the insert video button here. And then the source URL is going to be from my clipboard. So I'll go ahead and paste that in there. And you click OK. And Active Rain will show the gray box. That's normal. Uh, that has been normal. Uh, it looks like maybe something didn't happen right here, but that's that's always been normal for uh, the blog editor. And so what happens then is if you were to go ahead and up to the top of the post, you hit save, and you go ahead and let that save, and then you hit preview. Um, so this is the problem that we have now. Um, normally at this point, the video would show. But instead, all we see is this blank box. So now we're going to go back and fix that. So if I go back to my previous tab and go into my editor. Now, the thing is, I'm going to go, want to go into edit this video. So a little bit funny here. I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm clicking on that video. And it doesn't seem to want to highlight that video. So here's the workaround for that. How do you highlight the video? What you can do is you can put your cursor right after the video. See where it's, it's highlighting that. And... Now what I'm going to do is on my keyboard, I'm going to see if I were to use my arrow keys. I don't know if you can see that through this video, but that cursor is actually jumping from the left to the right. So what I want to do is I want to hold my shift key down. And so the cursor is blinking on the right side of that video. I'm going to hold my shift key down and push the left arrow. And by doing that combination shift and left arrow, as the cursor jumps over the video with the shift key down, it will select it. That's a little bit of an odd irregularity how it's somewhat difficult to select it but once you know that trick it's not bad so that video is now selected if I go up to my edit video button now you'll see that the properties for that video 
are are back in here. Now you you notice what what Active Rain there the editor in Active Rain has done is it it took that short URL reference that we had and it actually now converted that over into an embed type of a link. So it's youtube.com slash embed and then the video code. But what the editor, because it uh, is a little bit dated, you see at the very beginning here it says HTTP. What's missing is the S. So I'm going to go ahead and just insert my cursor right there after the P, click on the S, and that one little character is going to make all the difference. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit, click OK. I'm going to come out of here. I'm going to jump up to hit Save. I'm going to go to preview again and this time you're going to see the video does appear right so that one little s that secure http makes all the difference because youtube uh, is just not accepting anything but an https reference anymore so unfortunately the the active rain editors uh, a little bit dated now and it's causing that issue but you saw how easy it was for us to fix that so that's good news next problem is do you see the default setting for the YouTube embed sizes here is is this almost it's in a, almost a square, and the videos that we watch are not squares; they're actually 16 by 9 ratio rectangles. So it's a rectangle into a square hole kind of a problem. So what happens then is on the top and on the bottom, uh, these black bars are filling the gap, and we call that letterboxing. Uh, and that's always kind of an annoyance when you see letterboxing. So this, although this video would work, it's not an ideal situation. So how do we fix that? So if we jump back to my post from today, just to get like the cheat sheet here, you'll see in that post here, um, I, I came up with a couple dimensions. That if you embed from YouTube, it um, directly from YouTube and get an embed code. We're going to see that in a bit. But it's going to offer a 560 by 315 default setting. That's actually a good setting. That's, a, that's let's say, a medium-sized video uh, embed. Now, if, in Active Rain, we have 700 maximum pixels across in our blog area, so we could go up to 700 by 394. So that's actually, if you're highlighting a video, why not give it the full space that it's potential? So 700, 394. Let's remember those settings, 700, 394. And I'm going to jump back to edit my video again. And I'm going to do that trick. I'm going to put my cursor at the after the video. I'm going to just do the shift key down, left arrow to highlight it, edit the video. And we're going to go 700. And I already forgot what that second number was. It was, anybody remember? It is 394. 700, now 394. Now here's the thing. If I were to constrain proportions, that means it's going to keep that same square shape. Uh, it's going to force that same square shape. So if it's going to calculate what it, the height would be to keep the same square. I don't want that. So I'm going to undo or uncheck the constrain option. And again, my brain, what that number was, 394. So 394 in the second box. Okay. And then those 700, 394, I click OK. Now you see the preview is actually letting that embed go all the way across. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then again, preview it, and you'll be able to see that that embed now goes all the way across the 700 pixels for the, our blog texting area, or the, the primary area of our blog. So there's a nice embed. And so ultimately, there was two things that we had to do. Uh, after, well, first of all, you insert it. Then immediately after that, you go into select it, you edit it, you put the S after the HTTP, and then you modify the width and the height parameters so it actually gives you a better sized video. All right, so that's that's one, and after you know that, it's actually not that hard, that workaround's not that hard. What I wanna do, just in case you're interested, is there is a second way to embed a video. And that would be in the case where you just get the embed code. So let's go ahead and do that second one. Let me close down some of these previews here. I'm gonna jump over to Deb's post that is also mentioned in, in my blog post from today. And in this, this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath the video. I'm going to click on the share link. And you'll notice the very first circle in the share link is an embed. So if I click on that, it will convert this output screen to have a iframe. And all the, the parameters are programmed in there. And it's ready to go. So all I need to do is click on this link down here at the bottom. It says copy. And that will copy it to my clipboard. I'm going to jump back to my blog post and draft. And let's say I wanted to insert that video in here. Okay, so I'm going to hit an enter. 
And in this space, now that code that I copied to the clipboard is HTML. I can't insert that directly here because uh, it wouldn't know what to, how to process that. So what we have to do is we have to go up to this button on the toolbar that says source code, and that will switch our view over to a HTML view, and that's where I could embed a text that is HTML. Now, here's the thing though, when you're looking at a bunch of HTML, and you're trying to figure out where am I supposed to insert this, it could be a little bit daunting because it's a lot of code and different, almost difficult to understand a uh, screen full of text. So what I like to do here is what I call a put myself, give myself a breadcrumb. So um, if I just said video here like that, um, and then after I go into HTML mode, I search for video, the word video, well, that my, my post itself might have that word video in several places. So what I want to do is give myself uh, something that's very unique. So if I say even two words put together no space video here, I can use that breadcrumb now because I can search for video here no space uh, and that's the only one there's only gonna be one instance in this whole blog post where it's gonna find it. Let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to click on the source code button and here's that gibberish. Don't know exactly where we're supposed to go and we could scroll through here and try to find it. And actually in a blog post like that I can actually see it. It's right there. But sometimes you have a long post and lots of coding going on. It's just easier if I do uh, Control F on a Windows PC or Command F on a Mac. At the very top, you see I have a search box and I can just type in a video here and it will highlight exactly where that needs to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and that highlight that's right there, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because that's just a placeholder. And then I'm gonna Control V, Command V on a Mac or Control V on a Windows PC is a shortcut for paste. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that iframe in there and the only last thing that you might consider before you come out of HTML mode is if you wanted to get, to change the width and the height parameters, you could do that very very easily right now. And the one thing that we had to do before, while, while I'm thinking of it, is remember before where uh, the button that we inserted the video did not put the S? Well, by using the embed code here, like what I'm, what I'm doing right here, um, Active Rain is not uh, not going to change this whatsoever. So the HTTPS that you see here will just stay. So I don't have to worry about whether it has the S or not the S. You'll see that it it just when you do the embed uh, pasting, it doesn't ever alter that. So that's that's safe. That's going to be safe. Now, what I the only other thing I have to do here is if I wanted to, I could type in my 700 and whatever that second number was, it was 394. So I'm going to come over here. 394 so 700 394 that will give me the biggest possible video frame so that's it I'm gonna go ahead and, and I inserted that iframe I changed my parameters there I'm gonna click OK in the in the editor you're gonna see the gray box and that's fine that's the way it appears until you go ahead and do a save and a preview and we should see both videos now at the full width and remember we did the first one by using the button on the toolbar. We did the second one by using the embed code. And either way works. Um, you just have to know some of the things. To, there's just a short checklist of things to remember for each one. Um, the first one, you have to remember to put the S in after you come back and edit it and then change the width and the height if you want to. And the second one is just a matter of being able to jump into source code view to paste. And then if you wanted to change the width and the height, you can do that there. So there you have it. That's how you can embed videos in 2019 and onward in Active Rain. So some things are changing how that used to be, but and if you've been frustrated with like how to embed a video and get it to work as you want it to look and to be able to maximize its effectiveness, hopefully those tips today are going to be useful to you. So again, glad that you're spending a little bit of time with me because I wanted to help you uh, pick up some of these tech tips and to be able to not only read my blog post, but uh, when I'm able to, to to record these short videos so that you can see it firsthand as well. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you again soon.